Imaging Protocol Manager, or IPM for short, is a cloud-based tool that can connect your CT or MR devices and can help you import, manage, and send your standard protocols back to those devices. As you can see, after logging into IPM on the left-hand side, you have CT, MR, Settings, and Help. Underneath the Help, you have FAQs, a web-based user manual, and an About section. In Settings, you have Libraries, where you will set up a standard library, which is denoted by the green thumb. In this example, there is one standard library for CT and one for MR, and Preferences, where you can change the language of the user interface. Underneath CT and MR, you have Transaction Status, which shows you the transactions in the devices and the library. Under Protocol Libraries, you will see all the libraries available to you. Your standard library will always be the top. Under Devices, you will see all devices that are connected to IPM. Now we will go on to importing and adding protocols to your library. To import, select any device you want and select Import. This is a live import of exactly what is on your device at that time. In CT Room 1, you can see we have five new protocols and two deviated protocols. New protocols are protocols that are not in your standard library. Deviated protocols are protocols that are in your standard library but have since changed. Looking into CT Room 1, you can see all protocols that are on your device. You can use the Compare function to look at those deviations or differences from your standard protocol. You can see your device protocol and your library protocol. Next, you can decide which protocols you want to add to your library. Select All Protocols and Add to Library. This is a duplicate management screen. This will allow you to compare these two duplicate protocols and decide which protocol to add into your standard library. If we want to add the second protocol to the standard library, we would have to change the name. Once the conflict is resolved, the bars will turn green and you will be allowed to continue and add comments at an all protocol level or an individual protocol level for an audit trail. The protocols will now be in your IPM library, which is your standard library. You also have version history. If you select a protocol and select version history, you will see all versions. You can look at the change log of that protocol. You can compare two versions of the same protocol in the compare viewer that we saw before. This screen shows you what your current version is in your standard library. We also have the option to revert to any version that is not the current standard. If you decide to do that, you can slide the bar and save that change. You have the option to select all or choose as many individual protocols as you would like to send to a device. This screen can be looked at in two different ways. You can view by protocol, the name of the protocol with the room and the slot number and the model underneath it, or you can view by device with the room, the model, and all the protocols within it. Once you have decided which protocols you want to send, you can replace, which will add or update the protocols on the devices, or you can replace all, send the protocols to the device, and delete any protocols on the device that are not in your library. Simply press Send. Those protocols go to a staging area on the device. Please note that the device must be rebooted for the changes to take effect. You have the option to rename and delete a protocol. To rename, it's as simple as giving it a new name and pressing Save. To delete, select a protocol, select Delete, and it will be deleted from your standard library only. You have the option to export your protocols. In IPM, you have the ability to review slots. The model name will be at the top. Underneath it will be all protocols that are in your standard library for use in the slots. You can simply drag them to a new slot number or you can switch them. 
Once you are finished, you simply select Save. You will want to send those protocols back to your device as well. You also have the option to export your version history by protocol or model. Inside your standard library, you can add clinical instructions. You can see an addition here denoted by the paper icon. You can click on that and you are able to look at the PDF that was attached and you are also allowed to attach your URL. We hope this demonstration helps you to understand more about Imaging Protocol Manager. For further information, visit us at gehealthcare.com or contact your local GE Healthcare representative.